very beautiful reminder for me, for, for a lot of us, that uh, how ex acceptance is a very big part of this path as well, including, like you had mentioned earlier about even the emotions or feelings that we would normally put in a basket and call them negative, but to fully be present and to experience it. But there's also some of us, um, you know, who have experienced a lot of trauma, a lot of grief, a lot of um, tragedies in their life from death or physical trauma or abuse, uh, even addiction. And they're wanting to sit down, they're wanting to be present and watch their thoughts and to experience that connection, but they just find it extremely difficult to do that because the momentum of their experience perhaps is stronger than their desire in the current moment to experience peace or oneness. What can you offer to them? And a little segue of that as I'm inserting in is, does mental health counseling fit into that in your opinions on that? So. Um, counseling is extremely good and counseling should happen much more than uh, law or punishments. Because we can, I, I believe we can prevent a, a lot of issues by through through counseling right from the childhood, because many people have have had traumatic childhood, and they carry the scars of it. So I believe that we can do a lot through uh, counseling. Uh, but one more thing uh, about this is that if you give a clear purpose in life, or if people can develop a clear purpose in life, it should be a larger purpose. And if you give a clear purpose in life, that purpose will be inspiration. Even if there are failures, if the purpose is very clear, they will work for it. They may fall many times, but at least they will work for it. So purpose actually takes a person away from depressive moods. Uh, mostly people do not have clarity of purpose and that's why they feel quite down and depressed many times. Secondly, connection with people. First I said counseling, then purpose, then connection with people who are positive by nature. See, many times people connect to people who pull them down emotionally because, because of past friendships or various, various factors of life. We connect to people who literally drain you and makes you feel miserable. Like I would say, avoid such company because you need to stay alive or you need to survive to keep others alive. So we need to have company of people who are positive by nature, who are great survivors and connect to them so that their momentum, their energy will become inspiration. That's the thing. And when you have clarity of purpose, you are fearless. Example, Jesus. When Pilate told Jesus, if you repent, I'll set you free. Repent for what you have done, I will set you free. Jesus said, no, I meant what I did. Then rest was crucifixion. He knew it will happen, but he, he did not want to compromise on what he has done or what he was doing. So when you have conviction in your action, there's no fear. So fourth is conviction. Connection, after connection, conviction. You should believe in what you do. You should, this is exactly what I wanted to do in life. People may agree or disagree. Don't worry about people's opinions. Opinions change. When success happens, you are a good guy. When failure is then, you are a bad guy. So society is two-dimensional. They can only see this through the angle of their concept of success or failure. For society, usually money is success. But in reality, money can be a burden. Many rich people are only glorified watchmen of their money. They are filled with fear of losing money. They never enjoy life. That's not a good, good, good idea. Somebody who has much lesser money they will be experiencing that money and being happy. But many rich people, they don't know what to do with money or they are afraid of this money getting stolen and they cage themselves, suffocate themselves and they die like that. See, have you seen people who get great gifts, keep it for another day to use. They don't use it. 
uh, they don't experience it and they say okay another time better time will come and that time i will use it and finally when they die it will be sitting in the shelf <laughs> so this is how sometimes our our constitution works we are in the future express so life happens right now we, we have to be here to experience life so all these traumas and things we have to leave behind in the past so we have to hold hands tell them that's done now the memory you keep may attract such events back so shed the memory how do you do you work with people who needs help so your own suffering can become a solace to somebody like for example when my daughter passed away in a road accident uh, so many people came to me and sympathized with me i went away from them because i didn't want it's a personal sorrow and i did not want too many sympathies what happens when you get a lot of sympathy it paralyzes you it makes you immobile you feel pity for yourself self pity dangerous self pity is like cancer <clears throat> when you entertain that it binds you so much that you do not have any power to move further so i i went away from there i went away from all these people and to some people who are who was constantly calling to express his pity and sympathy i said please don't call me anymore and they they were very upset with me but i had to take that decision that stage i didn't want to drown in that and then what i did i started doing projects and works within the capacity that i had with my money and that's amukher now 18 or 19 years old amukher and act foundation in the world is starting start it started from there in 2003 i started that so her name her her visit on earth is st still lives it's still there so the, i you can turn a problem into a possibility you can convert a situation of pain to a great possibility so the pain to possibility is what we can guide people to we can and that needs people who have walked that path not just theory theory won't work you know and uh, many people who express great joys in life are crying inside so we can't really think that some of these people are well settled they are all expressing their aspirations but inside they are so unstable so various people who who have inspired people have not found it within themselves they are talking theories it doesn't work you got to live it you got to live your inspiration you got to live your conviction and those are the people who are who can guide the other people first and foremost you got to transcend a pain to a purpose or you got to transcend your pain to a purpose you should convert your transform your pain convert your pain to a purpose and it should be a larger purpose there should be no boundaries there then you can overcome anything you can you can become power houses very very powerful people and that will really really shift you and the world we all have that power we all have that in us but what limits us is that our notions and our lack of purpose in a way we are not thinking big we are we are set is satisfied with something small i wake up in the morning if i have a coffee i am happy there ends the story and then eat drink sleep die this mode we are operating nothing is happening in life you look at the world mostly you see nothing is happening in life no no movement we are completely caged by our mind so when even our idea of freedom is freedom of movement or freedom to eat what we like this is our idea of freedom so we are conditioned and caged by our own mind but our possibility is multi dimensional we have great great possibility and that's exactly what we should always remember